Hello. Gosh. It's a lovely day today. Lovely day. I know. We've got, I think we've got two weeks of rain to look forward to now in London. We're in London. Do we have to put the volume up? Hello, first person to join. <laughs> Hello, second person. Guys, we right. We don't know what we're going to talk no. about. I don't know why I'm shouting. I'm sure you can hear me fine. We don't know what we're going to talk about. We were supposed to do live yesterday evening, but really, to be honest, we didn't feel like it. I'm on. Well, I didn't. I'm on my lap. I'm on my desktop all week long, and when Friday evening comes, I want to put everything electronic away. And so. If I'm not going to do this with heart and be there for you, I think it's better not to be there. So we decided we will just do it when we're feeling chilled yes. um, and ready for a drink. Pardon my knees. You've got lovely knees. <laughs> and we're ready for a drink and hopefully then we'll have something of value to say to you. Now, if Stay there's... On, don't get carried away. Well, I, hopefully we will. <laughs> now, if there's something specifically yes. you'd like us <clears throat> to um, cover... Hello, Hello Doctor! Me. We are big admirers of yours, Doctor. Doctor it's a who? joy to see you here. Hello, yeah, Doctor. Doctor. He's wonderful. He's so knowledgeable and wonderful. That was a joke. Doctor Who, get it? Oh, when, Doctor when, Who. When, when says Doctor, the first thing you say is Doctor Who. <laughs> Doctor Who. Yeah. Well, Doctor, <laughs> it's lovely to see you here. So one thing that I want to say is that yesterday I went shopping. Um, I went to M&S and I was waiting in a very long queue. As I told you, this is not scripted. No, no, but it will get better. And I'd been feeling anxious this week on Wednesday. I felt very anxious and I couldn't place it. But I knew that it would go because, you know, life ebbs and flows like that. And I did my deep breathing and was... Pranayam. You know, and was present for that feeling. And that's all fine. It didn't overwhelm me. I just, you know, that's how I felt. And I started to think about just how lucky we were that I, I love my garden so much, I can't tell you. We have I a garden just, and we have yeah, a garden. We have a garden. And I just bit you found an app where you uh, put a picture of the plant and it tells you what the plant is. And he, so, and he has this habit of um, pulling out flowers that she thinks are weeds and pulling out and leaving weeds that... She thinks of flowers. Well, weeds are very beautiful, I have to say. It's not all of them. But I don't want to pull out flowers. No. Anyway, this app is brilliant. So what was the point of that? I love my garden. I'm so, so lucky. But I think the anxious feeling was... Oh, hi, Doris. Not everybody is this lucky. And there's all this talk about we're in this together. And we are not in this together. We're not. No. <laughs> We're no more together now than pre-virus. Oh, um, no, that's not true. No, no, I don't think we are. On Thursday nights. Well, okay. We, the NHS. Okay, we go and clap for the NHS. But yeah. honestly, bit. We're no more together than we were, I feel. I think what, what I realised, and this happened in the queue um, on the way, when I was waiting in m and I turned to the woman behind me and said, so how are you feeling? And she said, we're in the same ocean but we're all in different boats. And that's exactly right. Like some of us are in a Great big beautiful boat. cruise liner <laughs> some are, with a swimming pool um, in wait, the wait, ocean. Wait, that's not us. No, that's not <laughs> us. And some of us are in a nice ship and we're sailing and it's calm. and, and it's... Some of us are in a, in a rowboat with one oar. Yeah, and some are in a rubber dinghy. And that's the realisation that came to me. And I thought, wow, you know. Well, but one thing I have noticed is how many people are reaching out? They are. They are seeing that they are. That they are fortunate. I think people are counting their blessings more at the moment. They realise that they are lucky to be isolated in a home mm. with people they kind of like, mm. uh, with a garden, yeah. and they are mindful that there are other people isolated in homes with people they don't like. I mean, yeah, but mindful is fine and it's good. But you know, there, there are more donations to food banks. Yeah, uh, there was record donations to the other night to the um, big night in. Not my cup of tea, but people did donate to that. Um, oh, hello, Doris. <laughs> yeah, and I think so. People have been giving to food banks and have been trying to be. And the, the, the fact that we are all isolating mm. is that most of us who are, you know, not extremely old or have underlying conditions not extremely old not extremely old uh, I was going to say young I thought that's not us um, that's not us what are, are, I, we? Uh, what I, are we middle I think so middle aged uh, oh, god. oh my god that sounds horrible it'll be our 30th anniversary next year I remember those people who used to s- anyway carry on anyway, sorry so we are isolating for other people 
right? Yeah. I mean, if I catch the virus, and I may, may already caught it, I had a fever about three or four weeks ago, uh, I'll isolate it so we don't pass it on to other people. That is a selfless act. In the States, people are already clamoring to get back to work, yeah. not mindful that they need to isolate, not for themselves, but so they don't pass it on to someone else who might pass it on to someone who's got I know, asthma. I but darling, or... in, the, in America, they don't have a support system like we do. So they've got to work, you know. They feel torn because they have to work. You know, they, they, they will not have support. Hmm. So it's tricky. But my thing is, what's going to happen after this? Are we going to remain mindful after this is over? And that's what hit me is, will we go back to normal? Will we have a moment of, we're all in this together and helping each other, and then we'll go back to... But again, it depends on how the lockdown is eased. Okay, so again... People are clamouring to get back to work, also to go to the pub or go to a club or do those things. I think those places will be the last to be eased in their lockdown. Mm, I think the good. first places will be primary schools, mm. so um, maybe places like uh, where maybe places that are more essential to go back to work. And I think the luxuries will be the, among the last places to be eased down. And again, that is a sign That's of togetherness. As it should you know, be. Yeah. yeah, people will will appreciate that there are some places that are more necessary to people who have less and they were the ones they'll be the places that are, are eased first i think mm. and that's another sign of, of, of us all working together mm. but we're not in it together as such what does that mean like together? i said the dinghy analogy you know uh, but I think, life is like that but but it was always like that mm. all right mm. and i think the fact that i think we are reaching out yeah you know, but... Well, can I just say, guys, um, we just came on because when we do these uh, chats with you, it's our opportunity to have a glass of something. We do that. I'm, I have probably drink once a week. Um, but since this lockdown, I do drink once a week. I never used to. It's really odd. I used to drink probably once every month. Yeah. If somebody well, forced you drink, it. You have, a glass, you have a glass of champagne. A glass right? once a month. And even then it would be because we were out and somebody would say, oh, have go on, have a glass. And now I quite look forward to the once a week where we do ching ching uh, and nothing wrong with that guess what I did yesterday I made fresh elderflower yes well done you I'll show you how I made it tomorrow tastes quite good I've tried it but ask us questions because otherwise we will just be rambling uh, but I did want to say something about this um, we're all we're all actually we are all one I had a really brilliant analogy the other day I'd like to share with you in India in the palaces you know they have those rooms that are covered in mirrors. Okay. It was so the king could look at himself from every angle and just admire himself all the time. And uh, yeah, nice. apparently. And then one day the king's um, dog came into the room and went berserk and started barking at these hundreds of dogs in the reflections, room. Reflections, yeah. These reflections. And basically the analogy was that we look at other people and treat them like they're different to us. But those people that we're seeing, like the dog we're seeing, are just us. And I thought that was a really brilliant analogy. Do you want to drop down into that? I have to look closer because um, we are reaching out. People have to oh, yes. know if they can reach out. Yes, yes, yes. In times Respect of emergency. Yes. I'm saying hello. People are passing the street being respectful. Yes. That, that's a good point as well. Yes. I, I have noticed that people are trying to... Uh, you know, there, there are some people yes. who are maybe less mindful, you know, but I've seen people queuing outside stores quite patiently. I think the good weather helps, Definitely. you know, next we're week, we've got, we got two weeks of bad weather now. Let's see how people are queuing outside stores then. Mm. But people have been quite mindful. I know you said there's a bit, a bit of a bun fight in Waitrose when you went, but... <laughs> That'll uh, teach me to go to Waitrose. <laughs> I mean, those uh, blooming Waitrose customers. Blimey. Blimey. But, um... You know, when I've been, I've thought people have been respectful and have been have understood why I agree. they're queuing. It's showing a smile. I love smiling at people when I I, I have a big beaming smile on my face. That's Jane. Jane McWhiz, Hello, Jane. What a lovely name. And Jane, uh, even just it's waiting. Not really in McWhiz, a... right? I mean, that's a brilliant. That's bit. her Insta name. Yeah, I know. If it was, I'd love that. It's a, like a Scottish sort of. I don't know. McWhiz. Yeah. yeah. McMagic. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. <laughs> um, go, going back to that analogy about the dog barking at his own reflection. Um, and that we are all one. You expand on it because you're good at that. I'm not sure what we... Uh, I've heard this before. Mm. I mean, we are, we are all one in that we all sort of carbon-based life forms. Mm. Um, and we all, you know, um, share 
the planet, right? So if, 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 we, if we degrade the planet, we all, we all lose, you know. And we found that, you know. I remember thinking that people who suffered initially in this were the people on cruise liners. And these are people who had, you know, I guess relatively comfortably off, sailing around the world on a cruise liner and all of a sudden find out their dream hard they turned into a nightmare where you were stuck on this ship with thousands of sick and dying people and no one would let you dock, right? So, so that kind of does show that we're, you know, it, it can happen to anyone under any circumstances. Yeah, yeah. So, in that sense, we are, we are, you know, it is a, it is a leveler. And we are one. We are one, right? Mm-hmm. It, can ha- it can happen. And this I mean, we are shows, one. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and some of, you know, and it may change, but some of the poorer countries seem to have been less influenced by by the virus because it's a it's a rich country's virus yeah, right? it, yeah. You know, europe has been you know what, what we have started somewhere else europe has been the hardest hit because we travel a lot yes you know we are able to go sit in restaurants and go to festivals and go to football matches where we are you know hugging and passing the virus to each other it has been a rich it's been a rich country's virus but guys we won't just talk about viruses no, if there's let's anything not you want us to talk about we are here for you yes we're here for our weekly chin chin as well but we're here for you <laughs> uh, i somehow feel if i have it with you then i just feel <laughs> it like doesn't count it doesn't count <laughs> yeah there's no calories when there's you, no but calories. it's for work there's no calories oh my god when i made elderflower there's so much sugar in elderflower but i used coconut sugar so the color is odd but it does taste good um Oh, thank you. Uh, Thank you. We love our products too. Oh, (laughs) another brilliant thing I heard the other day that I want to share with you is that we all can be quite impulsive. Um, When I'm out of balance, um, I have a Vata imbalance and I can definitely be very impulsive, especially by a computer. Don't get me by a computer when I have a Vata imbalance because I will press send before I've even finished typing. What's What's my top tip to you? Sleep on it overnight. Sleep on it. Yeah. Don't that's send an email. That's a top tip for anyone. Yeah, don't if, send if, if an it's email. It's an email. If you're not sure to send it, don't send it. Yeah. S- just give it. And most things are not that urgent. No. Nah. But I'm very... When I have a Vata imbalance, I just want to deal with it. Get it out the way. It's just because it bothers me. And this happened this week where I sent an email too quick. And it reminded me of this thing that I'd learned but not put into practice the day before. Is that every night... If you can scan your day in your mind, scan every moment of your day, everything that you did, what happens, you begin to get into the habit of becoming more aware. Just the act of seeing it in the evening makes you more aware so that next time when you're going to send an email, you have that memory bank that says, oh yes, and I do that, and that's not really a productive way to be. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you, you bring more intellect to it rather than uh, mind to it. Emotion, sense. basically. Yeah, rather than emotion. And I thought that was a really good thing to do. And when I've done it, it definitely has helped. Sure. Because nothing is that important. Yeah. And also, mm. Eva's, what's the reply all button as well? Oh, God, reply all button. Reply all. It's not good. They should ban that button. Yeah, yeah. You know. What do you think you should have to physically cut yeah, every address? Yeah. That's the sort of thing we've got time to do now, haven't we? It's funny because actually, again, everyone's saying we don't have time. Like we're so our day is so busy because we're cooking more, we're cleaning more. We're my day, and I'm working all day. You're working all day. I am. We are. I was actually looking forward to a bit more free time, but I know we I, we, we are we have very close friends who have can been you furloughed. Please, and home remedy for dry skin. Lots of. God, you are blind, aren't Lots you? Lots of love. God, I'm so blind. I'm going to have to both. put on my glasses. Um, for dry skin, uh, I would say, well, obviously, the first thing is to drink lots of warm water because it starts within here. Like, you know, again, the whole point of Ayurveda is that we look at where did that dry skin start? Like, it, you know, it didn't start just because I didn't put my oil on last night. That's on a superficial level. But what can we do on an internal level? So you want to eat warm, nourishing foods. You might want to have a spoon of ghee in the morning uh, to lubricate your internal organs. I've heard it. It, the, uh, you, it just seems so counterintuitive to eat ghee. How Why? Do you do it? Why though? Why does it seem? It was basically butter. Yeah, but your internal. No, organs, no, I understand. It might yeah. do you good, but it sounds yeah. like it could be quite yucky. 
Well, it's not going to be as nice as a frappuccino, no. right? Okay. Until you get used to it. Yeah, and even so. then, like, like not, anything. Yeah, like anything. And even then, you're not going to say, yummy, I'm looking forward to my ghee shot. But when you see the good that it does, and all these things do, then, then you'll do it with pleasure. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I think yeah. you... Yeah, well, you take your medicine, I guess. Have yeah. you tried it, ghee? Have you tried it? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't do a tablespoon. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, but I could do a teaspoon. But a teaspoon is right. I mean, it, yeah. And normally massage. It, what, what you see on the outside is a result of what's happening inside. So you, you, you can take, you know, and we have some fa- fabulous oil that will help yeah. on a superficial level. Yeah. Um, I mean, we, I, I think this is Odess Sol who asked the question. I, I suspect that if you have that condition, you will have tried several things. Uh, or, or internally and he's all getting sort of uh, like this dry skin yeah um, you know are you following an ayurvedic diet and lifestyle i mean have a look at that but what, um, which product would you would you recommend for someone just just, just honestly for sure to help i mean to any help oil skin? any oil is and they're all equal and they're all natural they're all yeah, yeah natural. like i mean you, you know our products are lovely but which know, one of our products are, would you uh, say if you, so? for me every t- well actually now the um at night time, if you use the new Vata oil, the concentrate, okay, because you literally only need a drop of that, that some... the Vayu one. Vayu. Yeah, because yeah. you only need a drop of that, and it's very nourishing. But yeah. but do the internal work first. Yes, That's absolutely. really important. That, that's always key. You know, hydration, Hello, sleep, Hello, uh, fresh air, uh, eating the right foods. Yeah. Those, those are usually the keys to any ailment, really. Um, and... Only then can you look to external things like oils and, and other potions and lotions too. Vegan Ojaso, oh, our products are vegan, yeah. so you're fine there. Yeah. Not just about um, animals. And oh, yeah, so you mean key, right. Okay, so you could oh, have, yeah, could, um, which other... Which other um, coconut, would that work? Coconut. Uh, I, I think you can have olive oil, actually. Yeah, you could have a spoon of olive oil, that would work. Um, basically, you want to lubricate your internal organs. So massage yeah. also is super important. Oh, there we really go. good. Uh, Jane McWiz, our favourite Jane McWiz, um, coconut oil um, does the work yeah. instead of ghee. Exactly. So, so yeah. you know, it, it can't do any harm. Right? No, no, no. So it definitely you know, can't. It's, it's, it's Although product. some things do can do harm, like when you overdo anything. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, it can do harm. Stuff. Like a lot of people talk about having ginger all the time to boost your yeah. um, system and or it garlic, does yeah. or garlic but actually my father-in-law who is a brilliant ayurvedic doctor a very learned man i've got a long way to go i'm only a, i'm a newbie uh in you know in comparison to my 88 year old 87 87 year old father-in-law who is and doctor doctor who i'm just a newbie um but what was i saying <laughs> i don't know <laughs> oh damn it <laughs> you're saying about um about having ginger oh yeah ginger yeah so too much of anything even even you know medicinal things that we put in our food like ginger and garlic is not a good thing because you become immune to it yeah and that's what we're seeing in the world now with antibiotics we're becoming immune to them because we've we've overdosed on them yeah we're meant to we are supposed to let our body heal naturally now when we have a cold or cough, then we have the ginger. But it doesn't mean you put masses of it in your food every night. Like, no. you know, in an Indian kitchen, we tend to use a lot of ginger and garlic. But since my father-in-law told me this, I go very, very light on it because I don't want to become dependent on that. Same with our superfoods. Have them when you need them, but don't think you need them for all your life. That's not why we've created them. Yeah. We've created just them saw, when you have an imbalance. If you, if you um, just send us an email to info at Morley Rituals, um, we'll send you a, a small uh, discount code for the water oil if you want to, if you want to mm. try that. Um, Definitely. Just so you, you can try it and see how you get on. Yeah. Uh, no, that's absolutely right. Um, if you have, and also if you have overly flavoured food, you need to have it more flavoured and more flavoured, otherwise you don't taste the flavour. Right, yeah. uh, I think it's it's better to try and get your palate accustomed to simple foods, so that when you do flavour it, you will get the benefit of the taste, let alone anything else. And actually, <laughs> if you have toxins in your body, yeah. you your sense of smell, your sense of taste, yeah. everything is compromised. Yeah, that's right. But when you're healthy and you have a healthy digestive system, even the simplest food tastes so good. And actually, digestion starts before you even start to eat. That's another thing, is that uh, what you're thinking when you look at the food, what you're thinking when you're cooking the food, what you're, you know, the, the smell, the, 
the feeling, the emotions, all of that, sitting down to eat, uh, all of those things are so important that simple food is really yeah, delicious. That's true. And also it means that if you do have an imbalance or have some kind of ailment, you can then more easily get the benefit from natural foods like yeah. garlic and ginger. Yeah. Even, even with our single ingredients, with our supplements, you know, shatavari, ashwagandha, trifle, uh, and the, the, the blends, they are extraordinarily good, but they are very potent. This is the other thing we've lost yeah. as well, is we've forgotten how potent natural uh, remedies are. Yeah, right? they are medicine, because right? Two reasons. First yeah. of all, a lot of the over-the-counter stuff is heavily compromised. Right? If you buy it in a tablet form, you might find it in a, a, a very pro overly processed form. You're not getting the full benefit of the ingredients. And so people you know, will, will just guzzle it. And also you, you, people will have it every day. Yeah, you right? don't need to. You, what you need to do yeah. is, is... We do a 30-day course, don't yes, we? Yes, exactly right. Do a 30-day course. See and how you feel. See how feel. And then let your body um, forget about that superfood because after that, your body is familiar with it. Yeah. And it's thinking... You know, I've seen this before. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not like a, a medicine where you have to have a medicine to control your cholesterol or something or control your thyroxide or something, or something like that. These are to support you, okay? And if you take them every day for a long period of time, they're not supporting you anymore because you, your body's become accustomed to them. What, what it, the idea is to, to let your body automatically support you, right? Rather than have external um, uh, uh, inputs. I'm working on a book. I'm working on a book. You know, I've been, um, I've published two books. I haven't published two books. Done. I've had, I've done a book. I remember I was once going for a job, for a creative job, for an interview. And I was so nervous. The man said, tell me about yourself. I said, I've done a book. <laughs> and Bitu was at the other end of the, uh, uh, the other end of the desk because we, we were working together then as well. And he couldn't stop laughing. Because I've done a book. Because I've done a book. Um, that's how that's how educated and refined I am. I've done a book. Anyway, I am working on another book because Ayurveda blows me away. Um, but it won't just be with me. It will be with other people like Doctor Who because, as I say... <laughs> Probably shouldn't call him Doctor Who. Yeah, he doesn't mind. Okay. Uh, I say that because, as I say, I have so much to learn that if it was a book that I had written, it would not be nearly good enough if it was just me. Yeah. Because shared knowledge, I think, is the best knowledge, and we each have something to contribute, you know. So it won't just be me because I have one thing that I'm good at, and you know, Bitu has another. Then there are other people several. in the. Yeah, he says he has several. Okay, tell, come on, tell me, what is it? <laughs> well, I think it's a good idea to do, to have your voice, exp you know, uh, as a. What is the name of the book? I haven't decided yet. No. I've got some ideas. But to be honest, it's probably the publisher that will decide that because, uh, you know, they know what's sticky. And, of course, it has to be a sticky title. Yeah. Um, it won't be anything silly like um, how to change your life in seven days. It won't be anything <laughs> stupid like that because, you, you know, you can say that yeah, it's, it's all been written. And if, if you go into a bookshop and you read the title, you pretty much read the book. And it's not going <laughs> to... Honestly, if you see a book that says... How, um, I, you know, I can make you beautiful in 10 days. Don't buy it because they're just, they're appealing to the fear, fear in you and the anxiety in you. And we, we don't want to do that. We want to fill it with knowledge. And as I say, I think that knowledge comes from many people in the Ayurvedic world. Yeah. It certainly doesn't all come from me. You know, no, no. You know. I mean, I really has been around for, for thousands of years. It's, yeah, it's, and it, we we've been given that knowledge, right? Yeah. So, so knowledge is so basically uh, the the book is a way to present it in a form that our Western sensibilities will absorb. Yeah. Right. Um, and the and that is practical, right? Yes. Because exactly if right. you did everything that I have ever recommended, yeah, let's yeah. say you did a full dinacharya routine, you know, a morning routine. By the time you've finished, it'd probably be two in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, and you'd be, right. you lost your job. You lost your job. <laughs> yeah, and you do not want to do that now. So, you know, if our social media manager walked in at two because she'd been doing the Nacharya, I wouldn't be applauding her. So I think what you want to do is you want to take the best part of it that is workable for you. And, yeah. if, and if I had to pick one part of it, of course, meditation would come first for me and then it would be tongue scraping. And I'd do that even more than I'd brush my teeth. I could do without brushing my teeth. I couldn't do without tongue scraping because it's all those, that um, undigested 
ama, ama is that uh, toxin in the body, that's all coming up on your tongue overnight to say, clear me, here you go, clear me. And if you don't do that, and it takes like less than a minute, takes 10 yeah. seconds, that is a real shame. So, you know, it's just doing simple things like that. I, I agree. I mean, one of the themes this week, we've done a few different live chats this week for, you know, various of our retailers. Um, and there, there have been two themes. One, one has been the ritual. And as you talk about the rituals, you realise, actually, if you did everything, you would lose your morning. So it's, it's about choosing... Yeah, yeah pick, picking something that works for you, both in terms of what you want to do and what you have time to do, but also mixing it up. So do a ritual, have a ritual that you, you, you enjoy, but then maybe, you know, after a month, abandon an element of it and, and try something new. Because you only really know something works for you if you try it, you know? So the ritual could include um, tongue scraping, meditation, some sort of light yoga. I'm very keen on pranayam. I did a lot of pranayam this week, um, online tutorials. You love your neti pot, don't you? The neti pot yeah, is a big one for me. I, love, I think anyone better than the neti pot. Yeah, Ayurvedic doctor, yes, I can recommend some. Will you inbox me and I'll let you know. There's a couple, and actually there's some that are now online as well. I can recommend someone really good who can do a consultation online as well. So yeah. send us an inbox and I'll let you know that for sure. Uh, what simple Ayurvedic, tongue scraping would be the simple Ayurvedic thing that yeah. I would do. The other is... It costs, a, ten, a tongue scraper costs pence. Yeah, and, and it is unbelievable. Takes no time. Unbelievably uh, beneficial. And the other thing is to put oil on your little pinky finger and just put a little bit of oil in your nostrils to clear the passageways and a little bit in your ears as well. Yeah. And to massage around the ears is another one. Yeah. The, the um, whole thing really works after you use a neti pot. You know, the yes. neti, if, if you use a neti I, pot... I haven't used that. I know, that. Nita's not keen on yeah, that. Because that is it's quite, a, um, quite um, a basic procedure. No, I don't mind the basic. I, I don't... Uh, I'm not... I haven't yet got to the point of being able to manage the... Mechanics of it. Mechanics of it, yeah. Because there <laughs> yeah. are... It is, it is, yeah. It is, and I think... A bit of you, I keep remembering what you said, but not well enough. How you do one thing is how you do everything. Yes, how you right? do anything is how you do everything. Yes, yeah, so for me, something like the neti pot, I'm not at the phase in my life where I would do it no, sure. well enough. Yeah. I wouldn't you, commit you, to it well enough. I, 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 but the other thing about the neti which pot... Which is why I do that. ...is like many things is you, you, can, you can have a daily routine, which is a quick, sharp daily routine... You know, but also you have a weekly routine before yes. you have more time. Yes. Let's say you have more time on a weekend. Sunday evening. You might have a slightly longer Sunday evening routine. And many people do. You have your bath, you light your candle, maybe have a, a glass or something while you're in the bath, a face mask. You know, so that can be your... You a have long slightly longer. massage, a long massage. Self-massage is yeah. very good. Self-massage is really important. And if you don't have time for a full massage, again, you'll probably find it on our website more about Marma Points. If it's not yeah. there yet, it's coming. So yeah. keep an eye out on our website. But even just to massage the Marma Points is hugely one thing we, beneficial actually, one thing, and not difficult. Um, one thing we should do, actually, is we do the Pranayam tutorial... Um, but is is a mama a mama 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 point massage as yeah, well? Yeah, don't do a mama massage don't unless you're oh god no. unless you're kinky that, that way. That's terrible. Over Ma to you. A mama massage. Mama point massage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, a cream. Yes, we're thinking of a cream. We're very mindful of yeah. not producing products for the sake of products. No. We will have people in the beauty industry, industry say to us, oh, why don't you produce this and that? They sell so well. We don't want to laden you with products for the sake of it. No. Um, honestly, we don't. But I do appreciate some people do prefer cream. So That's it is true. something we need yeah. to look yeah. at. Uh, another thing is when you produce natural products, it's a very different thing because you can't just put a chemical into to stabilize a product or put a chemical in to enhance the um, life of the product, put a chemical in to enhance the mm. fragrance. Oils are easier to keep stable, aren't they? So you have yeah. to be mindful that all of the, 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 light, the shelf life, the fragrance, the feel of it all has to come from natural product, okay? Yeah, and that cream, is much longer. harder. Mm, you're much right. Much harder with yeah. natural product than it is for... Because you, you can literally go into a lab and say, okay, I want this bottle to come in at 10 pence for the ingredients and I want it to smell like so-and-so, you can do that, right? Mm -hmm. um, it, but you, with natural, you can't. No. You, 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 for example, if you're sourcing um, a, a, an oil, the, fr the harvest can um, change the way the oil behaves. 
right? So yeah, you, it you, smells it, different. It, it smells, smells slightly different yeah. or have a slightly different colour. Um, the, the fundamental benefits of it won't change, but you have to be mindful that when you do a natural product, you, you, you have to be very careful of your limitations. And honestly, some of the products you produce, you've got to work on them time again and again and again and again and again because they're natural. And natural things do not always behave as you would expect. Mm. But it's also the beauty of natural. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. But it is worth it because... I couldn't go back. They're good for the planet. They're good for your skin. Basically, I, mean, I wouldn't recommend this, but you could ingest our products oh definitely because they yeah. are all natural i, I wouldn't Please i wouldn't drink our products instead of a chin chin no. and by the way i you know it, with the chin chin we do believe everything in moderation ayurveda is not one of those um it is the knowledge of life so hi you, lydia cherry yeah hello cherry top lydia is one of the most beautiful women she i know really inside and, and some inside and likes to drink yeah, Lydia likes to drink. Um, she's one of the most beautiful women I know. I hope, and... that, I hope that wasn't the secret. I, I, suspect, <laughs> it, <laughs> I suspect it wasn't. <laughs> and sometimes people, sometimes her children, because they're young, will see pictures of me and say, is that mummy? And I love it when people say that because she is universe. I, she's so gorgeous. I can't tell you. Half Bayesian and half Sri Lankan and just incredibly and bright and just gorgeous in every way yeah, that's true and um, um ajw said um that for, for, for her I, I guess it's for her um the fragrance is key very important okay. and in fact that's a really good point because when you first started doing morley it was to provide done a book <laughs> <laughs> yeah we've done well Okay, producing Morley, um, it was to provide really effective Ayurvedic products that smelled amazing, yeah. right? We, our first work was from a point of, of aromatherapy because we knew that you could, that, that, the, that the Ayurvedic products did work, but God, they were hard work. And so we married, we married them with... Um, <laughs> With, with essential Miriam! oils for the fragrance as well as the effectiveness. So that's a really good point. Miriam, I made elderflower last night with brown sugar. You have to tell me what to do because it doesn't look very palatable, but it tastes pretty good. Miriam is coconut fantastic. Sugar. It was with in coconut fact, sugar. a lot of Miriam's stuff, recipes are on our Instagram. Yeah, Miriam Instagram. is amazing. She's yeah, she's Mother a... Earth, like really Mother she's Earth. Yeah, yeah. She's brilliant. Um, um, what was I saying? Who knows? Did you interrupt me? Did you <laughs> no, interrupt I me? I never interrupted you. Oh, Lydia interrupted us because yeah. I got sidetracked by Lydia. What I was going to say is that everything we produce has to... Oh, yeah, Ayurveda, about the chin-chin. Ayurveda is the knowledge of life. So first, we, yoga... Science of life. Yeah. Science of life. So yoga is actually the living of that life. It, yoga teaches you how to live fully present, like be. Yoga teaches you how to be, and Ayurveda teaches you how to do. So that's how they marry together. And then meditation teaches you how to... Uh, connect to your higher consciousness so that your being and doing becomes more, becomes easier, flows more, yeah? So you're connecting to the right part of yourself, your higher self. So that's how the three marry and we've all learned a lot about yoga and there was one time when yoga first sort of came to the West in a big way, we were doing fancy Jane Fonda style yoga, you know, whereas I remember, I remember going to Frame and they would pump out the music, which I loved, I loved the loud music, um, and everybody was in their cool gear, giving it some, and it was quite. How you know, do you do yoga to pump? Well, it's not yoga. Is it like a bit of, a bit of that? And, oh, well, it was that, not yoga. Was... It was like house yoga. It's not really yoga. It's a fun way to spend an hour. It is. Yeah. You do stretch your body. You do get the endorphins going because you feel happy because the music's pumping. It's basically stretching to music. Right? It's basically stretching to music, yeah. and now we're returning to the yes yeah, some... hatha yoga. Yeah, as and... people become much more. Some of the, the, the teachers become much more authentic and go, are going back to the source. Yeah. You, the yoga you can find now in this country is among the best in the world, right? Because people have, you know, the, the value of breathing, the, the value of holding a stretch, for example. You have to hold a stretch for oh, a serious amount you. of time, you know, to get the benefit of the stretch. And people are understanding that. Wonderful. The one, the, 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 Wonderful, the, um, Aaron. The need for um, mindfulness during the course, right? So you, you know you, you have a good teacher if they do a little bit of um, maybe a bit of chanting or a bit of meditation or a bit of pranayam, right? Because you know that they have studied the source text and are not, are not just literally going through the motions, mm. right? But there's nothing wrong with that. You'll get a good stretch, you'll get a good workout. But yeah. if you're trying to find yoga um, 
as a connection to, 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 the, to the source, um, then you need to find a teacher who will take you back to the origins, right? Mm-hmm. So who will do a bit of meditation, a bit of pranayam maybe. There's so many great teachers That's now. True. We have one, we have a yoga session on our own site that Annabelle did, who is um, oh, yes. manages social media and she's a yoga, she does yoga and her yoga nidra you, that's on our join that last HGTV, Sunday, right? yeah, it's on our HGTV, it's, it's really, yeah. it's wonderful. Yoga. And you know, you realise that there's just no rush, you know, like just commit to it, just commit to slowing down, like commit now to slowing down. Yes, there well, no if rush. not now, when, right? Yeah, <laughs> and that's another reason why I didn't feel like doing uh, mindfulness Friday, what do we call it? Mindfulness weekend. Yeah. Is because there's a there's a part of me that wants to completely pack away digital. I can't because of my work, but pack it away because even now when we're feeling uncomfortable with this isolation, we're rushing to our phones to connect. To connect and to not feel that emptiness. But actually, if we commit to meditation and mindfulness and eating right, there will come a point when we'll feel so connected, so connected, that that just won't be an issue. It doesn't no. mean we don't need people. Of course we need people. Well, I think now... But there won't be a dependency on people. Well, I think now one thing we've realised is how much we do need physical comfort. Com- I have... You know, um, sorry, I didn't... So Annabelle's this, yoga. Yeah, was... Yes, it's really lovely. So I didn't mean to... Share that emoji. No, send your emojis. I love a good emoji. <laughs> yeah. I'm so... a boomer. I love a good emoji. Yeah. yeah. I can't... You know, it's like an affliction. I can't end um, a text or a WhatsApp without blooming emoji. And I'm really trying, but it's an affliction. The thing is, right, at our age now, if, if, if I don't say what I'm going to say, I'll forget. Like, literally, <laughs> I'll forget what I'm going to say. I was going to say something really, really interesting. Was it really fun, interesting? And we'll never know what it was now. Were you going to give us the cure for... <laughs> yeah, huh? something. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damn it. That's right. It was so, on the tip of your tongue. It was on the tongue. tip of my tongue, right? But, um... Were you going to say I love you? Yeah, I, I, that, that's always radiating out to you, mate. Yeah. We, we, we've been apart for five days. Um... Yeah, because he's been staying upstairs because yeah. he's been... had the f- temperature, but yeah. all good now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so then? So uh, uh, someone was saying, sorry, I didn't catch who it was, about they, they would just use their um, hair oil. Oh, uh, that's and, lovely. That hair oil is amazing. I apply it every week. This is another thing. I'm touching my hair a lot because it's, I need to get my hair cut. It's so long now. I told you I'll cut it. No. Let me no. cut Your hair's easy oh, to cut. God. I just... Tie that up. Yeah, you see, that's really scary. No, it's not. And oh, I just God. cut it. Get off. Bitter, your e- hair is easy to cut. It really is. I really want to give you some value now. I don't want you to just be here to hear us talking about haircuts. Give me a question, and if I can get close enough, I'll be able to read it. <laughs> Animal Joke is still on HDTV, so you I can. I learned of the crying laughter emoji. Oh, yeah, I use that one all the time. That's probably my top. That one in the heart is my top. Yeah, and apparently there's some saucy emojis. We won't go through them now, but there are some saucy emojis as well. Oh, yeah, the aubergine is a saucy one. Is that one. right? Which I, like I didn't know. I just thought it was an aubergine. That's what I thought. No. I thought it was a aubergine little... is a phallic symbol, darling, in this new really? age. Really? Yes. Gosh, man, I didn't know that. Yes. We have a lot okay. to learn. I'll have to avoid that one then. Uh, you are both so humble. Animal. You are so sweet, Ojas. We're, we're not always like that, to be honest, Ojas. You know, we all have our... It's the drink. It's the drink, <laughs> yeah. We're so arrogant without our drink. I know. My God, you don't want to see us without drink. Um, no, seriously. All I know is that we, we are all learning together, and if we support each other, it's going to be a good old time, you know. And I, I'm just trying to think of how we can do it more. And that's not to be worthy. It's because it will fill me up. Ooh. Inga um, Faithful sent a request to be in your live video. I don't know what that means. Maybe yeah. you have to press that. I press view. I don't know. Go live with Inga. Yes. What does that mean? Does she come and join know. us? Go on, do it. Trust Inga. Trust Inga. Oh, what does it mean? Waiting for Inga Faithful. This, oh, this, this could be, you could get banned off Instagram for doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not. Inga, what does it mean um, to go live on our thing? I, I don't know. even know. I've seen know. it before, but uh, I don't know what it means. Uh, Pooch B. Yeah. I can get lost in the being too frazzled. And sometimes, mm. if I'm honest, being too attached to the outcome. So that's that energy. That's quite a common thing for a lot of people. Actually. Yeah, and it, a lot of Vata people and a lot of people in the West, that's what we suffer with. And, and you know, me included, I have to be mindful of that. So there is a brilliance that comes from that. 
but too much of that is really detrimental because you're kind of you're going so fast and so feverish and so attached that you're not really bringing your a game to it really yeah. the top tier energy is that sartvic energy where you're working in a way that is you're in the flow you're in the flow man and i would say more often than not that's what bitu is um where you're doing a task and you're fully immersed in that task for that task task sake yes. i can't say my s's i've got a bit of a list so if he's packing a box because at the moment um if you're ordering certain items from us bitu is actually packing them because our distribution <laughs> oh, yeah. house yeah is quite they they're doing most things but yeah. things like our shawls are going from our head office and this this old man's packing them now he will not sit there and say damn it i don't want to be packing shawls i need to be doing something else he will say i'm packing a shawl i'm going to pack a shawl with love that is a very sarcastic energy where you're present and the, again that there are times of day to have more of one energy than another right. um and also i think it's quite good if you can find a way to mix the energies um how did you get into i read that my father in law uh, well actually my mum as well my mum used to put oil in my ear and up my nose she used to give the best no i know that <laughs> <laughs> if you join the lake you're going to be wondering like waterboarding what weird mum is that <laughs> because it's very good for you to have a little bit of oil and she would massage our hair with oil seven children and she would massage the head massages kind of her head massages were legendary Jumpy. she is amazing she would cook an ayurvedic diet a sattvic diet what we call a sattvic diet um oh and that's the point going back to the those energies i was talking about too much coffee and too much alcohol is going to give you that rajas energy that fast quick too much too much too much so things are not even digested properly so food is very important so who is the question there was like a question i just just missed it oh yeah you're the one going forward so Sorry. i got into it because i was born into it but i didn't fully embrace it as a youngster i was a smoker and i say <gasps> youngster i was pretty young when i started smoking um oh my god if my son's heard this this is going to be a bombshell damn it um i did just for a while oh um, jessica so you missed your question it's like but i got into it because something happened in our life that made us realize how fragile life is and that it was up to us unless it's an emergency it's up to us to look after our health not the gp yeah and then i started li listening to bitu's father more who's a, a qualified who's a qualified i really don't know sagit panaras university he's a brilliant i really yes, doctor yeah, he he's really a is. legend and the more i would listen to him and his skin is like a baby the more i think what <laughs> why why have i been giving the power to someone else and it's just a phenomenal thing just... guys we get some great questions if if we miss your question and and you, you know you do want to ask again. it please ask it again and you know we will try and get it second time around um this is from tara bray what would you recommend for swollen lymph nodes around the ears tara Gosh. tara that's a really brilliant question and i know about lymph nodes but i want to check if it's the same around the ears yeah please can you say hello in um the inbox and i'll come back to you send me your email yeah or just say hello in uh the insta account and yeah. ask that question yeah. and i because i don't want to say it without thinking about yeah. it because i mean the lymphodes normally you would look at a good massage and kind of, you know you, you have specific massages for uh probably you have to be so delicate yeah, yeah, with that exactly area right. so can we come back to yeah. you yeah yeah uh but that's a really good question and we will come back to you mindfully hello corfu hope you guys are safe out there I don't know what situation is in Corfu in um in Greece and stuff. Yeah, how is everything? I hope everything's okay. I hope it's all well. It can't be worse than it is in the UK, right? I mean, we're having a terrible time at the moment. Um and if if anyone's been affected, we do sort of, you know, reach out to you and stuff. But let's yeah. not talk about that. Sorry, I'm going back to that now. Yeah. Um yeah, so please sorry, but do do inbox us. Um so it's an absolute one thing pleasure. Else, one thing about um being attached to outcomes. You're right. It's it's a western disease. Um what you got? I'm really loving good. your supreme skin face serum. I can't live without that. Yeah. I'm loving it too. Thank you. It's so this is so this question's come around again actually uh, from Jessica. Yeah. Uh, any tips on how to keep da, da, just, Oh sorry. <laughs> any tips on how to keep your energy um up while indoors with COVID-19? Yeah, that's true. If you're indoors 
and maybe you can't even go out because you're self-isolating. How do you maintain your energy and also maybe a positive habit? Yeah, I think you breathe. Breathing is really key, especially with COVID-19, for that alone, but also to uh, maintain energy. That's yeah, really breathe. good. breathe. Yeah. You must breathe. Yeah. You must accept that you're going to have days when you're not going to feel as good as everybody that you're watching on Instagram who's saying they feel amazing. And that's very you're not going to feel as bad as people on Instagram saying it's the worst day of their life. No, you know, so right. try not to pick up other people's energy perspective. Yeah. I find on days that I'm uh, consumed by it's best not to watch the news at all. Uh, yeah. Step away from everything. The news uh, seems to really want to try and make us panic. Yeah. And so don't buy into all of that and open a window. Don't, yeah. You know, and look after your diet. It's yeah. really easy. We're all putting on weight now, I think. And, you yes. know, again, I say the 80 20 rule. This is my second glass of ching ching, but this is my weekly allocation. But that's okay. But if I do that every day, all day, I'm going to feel so bad. That's true. COVID, COVID or not. So, what's yeah. your take? I, I think what, one thing is the breathing is key, right? And, mm -hmm. and it's not just having a deep breath, but if you have the time, maybe try and find a pranayam ritual that works for you okay so uh, i've done some tutorials this week and my favorite one at the moment is um, nadi shadana which is a, a circular breathing uh, pranayam routine in the past it has been something called um kabal bhati or kapal bhati which is a more energetic form that's the best form for you jessica because you're a you you tend to have a kuffer imbalance so, so the one you want to do can you can you kapal show bhati. yeah that's oh, the best okay. can you show it I would say, I'll do a tutorial and following on that, but it's basically breathing from the lower part of your abdomen. And it's really and good for weight sort of loss. Pushing breath out. Yeah, well, it's, it's good for fat loss on the tummy, actually, yeah. apparently. Can you show it? Okay. It's, it's hard to show because you kind of have to be sitting cross-legged, uh, sit in a comfortable neutral position and stuff. And basically what you do is you um, contract your lower abdomen. And Request to be in your video. See, I don't understand, I don't understand again. That. Well, let's, let's press. Oh, it's fine now. Um, do you... It's gone. Oh, it's gone. sorry. Um, so you, you, you compress your lower abdomen to force air out through your nostrils and stuff. Um, and you do that you know, hundreds of times, literally hundreds of times. Uh, it, there's lots of really, really good uh, online um, uh, tutorials, but that is a good one for a more energetic uh, routine. But Nadi Shadana or the circular breathing is a really good one for the moment because it really works all parts of your lungs. Right. And with COVID now, it's important to look after your immunity and to look after your respiratory system. And, and pranayam is fantastic at that. And Nadi Shidana is particularly good because it, you, you breathe in through nostrils alternatively and you fill all parts of your lungs. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to look. I can't ignore. I can't ignore you people. I hear you, sister. I hear about you, the sister. Breath made by Coopers. What does that mean? Made by Coopers, that's a fascinating name. It's a good name, it's, we're going to look it up. I know. Is it... Made by the Coopers. <laughs> I don't think it's those Coopers. <laughs> no, it's not those Coopers. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's, that was goodness know. gracious me in case you yeah, didn't yeah. know. Yes. Life. hello Ethan Life. Are you Vedic? What a brilliant name. Uh, yeah. Yes, love and love. Yeah. And, and I hope you agree that at the moment, it's the sort of thing you can do literally in five or six minutes. And while you're doing it, you'll feel very rested. It's, it's, it's a great thing. So when you're doing it, you feel very rested in the actual doing of it. And when you finish doing it, you feel really energized. It, it, it literally is a win-win. Miraculous. It yeah. is a miraculous yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, in fact, you know what? If we get people saying they'd like to see that on our next when, uh, um, Get Off Your Face okay. session, we'll do... Uh... Yeah, on our next Get Off Your Face session. <laughs> We okay. will show you the magic of being able to do that while drinking with one nostril. <laughs> no, let's not do that. We won't really that do that. That sounds painful. That sounds really painful. But um, yes, I'll, I, in our next session, you know, if, you're, if you like that, just say you'd like it and I will do a quick oh, five-minute love... um, Nadi Shidana routine uh, in our next... Um... Yeah, the dome is brilliant. Actually, yeah, darling, you should do uh, breathing techniques, all three styles that we're talking about in one... No. Video. Why not? It's a good point. I think. Why no? Did you because challenge it, me, darling? No, no, it's not that. <laughs> God forbid I should ever nay say anything you say. I think if, if you're being mindful, you can't rush these things. You have to do them properly. Good point. All right? And there's no rush. All right? These things have been around for thousands of years. They're not going anywhere. Yeah. Good right? point. Okay. Do them in three videos then. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Let's do that. Okay. Um, 
but we'll start off with now because now each time you can kind of do seated and everyone can follow it and yeah. you know uh, and we need people to buy in because literally otherwise if you're not buying in you're literally going to be just watching me breathe for five minutes i do which, that every day yes but now you love me yeah yeah <laughs> right um so literally you'll be watching me breathe so you know please do buy into it and do follow me as well because you will benefit from it or you go close through we are a skincare brand also, oh, good, who's this? Made by, oh, made by Coopers, okay. Inspired oh, yeah, made by, by Coopers. Oh, nice fantastic. to meet you, made by Coopers. <clears throat> okay, but, oh, inspired by Trip to India. Fantastic, well. Oh, I've heard of you. You supply um, Hot Pot because our digital marketing manager is also a yoga teacher who mm. works for Hot Pod Yoga, and I think you make their balm, right? Oh, so, welcome, small welcome. world, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Um, what's a good remedy for hair growth? Okay, this this, this is a food for you again to come out. So you're going to say hair loss. <laughs> a good remedy for hair loss. <laughs> Pulling it out from the roots. Um, for ha oh, hair oh, growth. Our oh, oh, oil is okay. damn good, eh? It is. Uh, one thing about hair is that um, a lot of it is to do with genetics. It is. Okay? His, both his brothers are bald. My <laughs> brothers are both bald as coots, right? <laughs> they really are. They couldn't be more bald. Since the age of 19 <laughs> I know, or it's something. quite young, right? Yeah. Um, and, but what I, can, what I can say is you can do two things. You can work on what you've got oh, to stop. improve the quality of it and to prove, improve the, uh, the way it clings off the dear life onto your head. Right? You can do both of those things. Now, various people promise various ways of encouraging growth. You know, you can drive yourself mad trying those things. You know, they're, they're usually not natural. Um, don't buy into all that. Don't buy into yeah. that because you really, you'll be throwing your money away. But diet. What can, yeah, diet is, is diet and sleep are always key. key Zinc. Right? But do, do, do try our hair oil. I, I swear by it. It's made like, it's like, like you would make a fine wine. It takes months to make. Yeah. Right? And he's 88. <laughs> it takes months to make. Do try it. Because two things will happen. If you, as you massage it in, because you, you can use it on the ends to improve the quality of the hair day to day. But if you massage it into your scalp, leave it for a few hours. Uh, maybe or maybe even overnight if you if you wish you will find that you I, I can pretty much guarantee it because we've had so many positive comments is that your, the quality of your hair will improve yeah. and also the, your, your hair retention will improve as well there's a name for that which i forget and so um, sh our shampoo and conditioner as well yeah because yeah. some people say natural but it is properly natural and i remember when we were having it made it took us about three years the manufacturer said look if you want it to make the hair really soft, we are going to have to put chemicals in it. And if you want it to make the hair really um, shiny, we're going to have to. And, you know, if you want it to foam a bit more, we're going to have to. I said, no, 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 no chemicals. And we kept going. I think we had about 30 different recipes, recipes and versions of it, yeah. formulations before we said, that's good. Now, hand on heart, it won't make your hair feel the way a chemical shampoo does because that leaves the residue on the top hand on heart you have to use it about five six times before you really benefit because you've got yeah. all that chemical sitting in your hair from your chemical shampoo also to educate yourself that natural products do not foam no not in the same way. yeah because you yeah. have to put a chemical in to make them foam exactly right so there's two things first of all you're getting rid of all the gunk you've had it from it before B, you're, getting used, you, you're making yourself used to the fact that it's a completely different experience. Mm -hmm. okay? And C, the fact that um, the results take a bit of time to kick in. So you get the old gunk and the, the new results will take a bit of time to kick in. But the, the shampoo conditioner are amazing. They are. And I think there's a long time. They, are, they were a labor of love because they're quite a low cost product. But they are, they, they, you know, we, were, we were determined to make a really good quality, natural shampoo and conditioner but the hair oil is like a miracle product it is and I, but i would also say that with hair it's really a vicious cycle isn't it because you know it's like a lion's mane isn't it especially for a woman actually and a man with our hair means so much to us and when we see that it's changing of course it does make us feel quite stressed it's understandable and it leads to a vicious cycle and stress is a big factor for why hair falls out yeah and so you know, the, what, whatever's going, there was a time when I had such thick hair. I mean, a hairband couldn't hold my hair, even, you know, if I tied it only once. Incredibly thick hair. And something happened in my life, in our life, eight years ago. And I lost so much hair and it never came back. And I was upset by it. But at some point you have to say, okay, 
I don't have the hair I had. I'm going to use something to keep it healthy for as long as I can, which we do with our product. But, but you know, life changes and grow, we grow and things change and we cannot hold on to something we had before because no. then we're not growing, right? Well, another thing I would say about that is also these things that can disturb us, like hair loss or some other thing about ourselves externally that we're not happy with, often they are just our own personal hang-up. Like yeah. The people who love us, who know us, don't even see it after a while. Mm. You know, it, you know. You don't mind my getting a beard, do you? I, I do mind it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but those kind of things. I've got a beard. You know, you have to understand that people who love you, after a while, don't even see them. When it first happens, you might think, "What's happened? You know, this friend of mine has changed in this Look, way." Look, live. Instagram is telling us we've only got one minute, 52 seconds to tell you we love you and then game over. I've been using the shampoo and conditioner as a treat. Oh, why is it a treat? No, it is a treat. It's quite expensive, darling. But this is our niece. <laughs> <laughs> we need to give you some. No, it's not a cheap product, it's okay? Nice. Come on. Now, look, one minute, 33 seconds. We have so much to say. I'd like to thank my dog. I'd like to thank Ayurveda for giving us this knowledge. I'd what like to thank all of you. This is not a one off. No, I'd like to thank all of you. And um, thank you in so much comments, for joining us. please tell us the bits you enjoyed. Am I shouting? Because when I drink, I do become a bit deaf. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. And also, when I put glasses on, I become a bit deaf. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, so, we, we, we'd love to do this again because you guys have been amazing. Thank you, guys. Um, and we, inbox us if we didn't read any of your yes, questions and you wanted us to answer them. And we loved you being with In us. Inga, we were, we were trying to repress the live thing. We want to go live. We don't know what it means. <laughs> Inga, we, <laughs> we're we're humans. We don't know what it means. We'll look it up between this time and next. Yes. Yeah. You are... Please go on the live again. Don't worry. We will. You won't lose us now. Yeah, we will do a live again. We've never spoken. Oh, yes. So, um, yeah, we got one thumbs up for the breathing exercises. That's all it takes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only need to be asked once. Yeah. You will do that when? Tomorrow? Can you do breathing I will do it on our next mindfulness. I'll do our next mindfulness. Why don't you uh, do it tomorrow? Well, see how you feel. Yeah. But Bitu will do what? You'll just do one type. I'll do Nadi Shadana. Because that, that is, for, for, for the times you currently live in, that is a really good one. It's an easy one to do. If you're not familiar with Pranayam, it's a nice, easy um, entrance level one. Five seconds to go. 